Hello everyone. Hey. Welcome to Rainbow Life. Uh, today we've decided to install something that we bought a couple months ago. We were at Harbor Freight and we found this light bar. It is a uh, Road Shock LED 22 inch combo spot flood light bar and it's 3800 lumens and it has a range of 1210 feet according to the box and so oh, I can show them we planned on buying this uh, light bar because we spent some time in the desert and with you all knowing in the desert it can get quite dark at night and it was difficult for us to find our way if we needed to move our rig around <clears throat> to a different spot. So with this light bar, I think it's gonna be amazing to uh, light up the particular areas that we're in that may um, be really dark. And so we bought the Companion uh, Roadshock LED uh, kit here, which is the light bar wiring kit. And um, it includes like the relay, the on-off switch, a 30 amp fuse, fuse protection, and a connector to connect into the light bar. So we'll probably just um, attach this to our battery and then run the switch into the front cab area. One thing that we were thinking about doing is potentially wiring this light, light bar into one of the switches that's already in the switch bank that's in the front of, of our rig because there are a few extra switches that have not been uh, assigned to any particular light. They just say spare, but we'll, we'll uh, probably just use the um, switch that came with the light kit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Try this thing, thing out. All right. Let's do it. All right. We'll see you out there. Great, so I'm just gonna open this up so you all can see what's in inside. with um, a couple of washers and um, some bolts and nuts here too. So that ought to be fairly straightforward to put on.
Great, so we have just screwed the light bar into the bumper. Let me just show you what that looks like. We just uh, screwed it in right there and it was super simple. Here it is on the other side. And yes, yeah, the, the a absolute perfect size for the space. And as you can see, it's perfectly centered. And now we're going to wire this, this thing. Yep. All right, so we managed to just feed the cable up here behind the grate um, and then up through here. Fortunately, I've got really small hands, um, so I was able to just to just reach in there and just feed it up through here with no problem. So now we will wire it, it up. Right now we have this huge um, amount of wires here, and this pretty much these ring terminals will connect to our battery, and this is the uh, 30 amp fuse to fuse the uh, positive wire right here. So this will run from our battery, and this is a relay here. Sweet. For the uh, connection to the light. And then all these wires <laughs> go into the, um, the switch. Great. And the switch will be used to turn the light on and off. So we, so we actually could just use the um, spare switch. But I'm not sure what orientation the wires have to be in. Oh. Um, There's a white, blue, and black wire. So now we just have to figure out in the switch that we have Which one is which? <laughs> hmm. So Devin actually had to be on a three-hour phone call t today for a job that he that he's going to be starting. So it gave me a chance to look at some wiring diagrams and try to figure out exactly how to use the existing switches that that we have in our um, console. So it turns out it's actually really really simple. So what I did, just a second, let me just switch the camera around. So it turns out that these relay switches, they're actually really, they're actually a um, standard type of, of switch where these um, terminals here, they're actually numbered. So I just went on, online and I was able to, to look up the wiring diagram for this same kind of switch. So it's positive in, positive out, negative. So then once I knew that, then I was able to just look at this wiring diagram for here I'll just show you this the wiring diagram for the switch that came with the light bar so that I was able to just um, take that and um, figure out where to plug these wires in into the um, terminals right there all right well that actually turned out really well it turns out that the terminals were what I thought they were which is great <laughs> So Devin re recently got, got off of his phone call and we just did a quick um, test run to make sure that the light bar worked and it is super bright. That thing is going to be a great a great light source for, for us when we're driving on these super backcountry roads and it's getting to be a little later in the day and we're trying to find a campsite and avoid deer and such. It's going to be a great, a great thing. So I, I'm extremely happy that we bought it. So tomorrow, we're going to wrap this up. We're going to hook it up to the starting battery, run all the wires, and finish it up. So stay tuned. So it's the next day, and today we're going to be finishing the installation on the light bar. Yay! And so I think what that involves is drilling a hole or finding a route to run the wire from the switch 
into the engine compartment so that we can secure the leads onto the battery and just making sure that the wires um, tightened up and is not dangling anywhere inside the compartment. Great. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. So uh, come along with us and follow along on our continued adventures of light and wonder and prepare to be awed. So now what we're going to do is remove the rest of the dog box here. We're just going to un unclip it in all these different places where the, where the clips are. Like, for example, there's one here. There's one down here as well, and then on the other, other side. So we'll just take it off so that we can figure out a spot to feed the wires through. We're thinking about feeding, feeding them, them through right, right through this kind of top part right here. And then we're going to make sure that we have enough wire length to reach the battery, and then based on that, figure out where to mount the relay. So everything's all wired up and the light bar works and so what we did, we ran the wires from the master bank of switches through the engine compartment and we attached the battery leads to the starter battery and then zip tied it to the existing wiring that went through around the air conditioning compressor hoses and then as you see here they're wired into the positive and negative battery terminals on the starter battery and because the power is only activated when you turn the switch on inside the cab there'll be no danger of draining our starter battery so i think all in all we uh, did a really good job so let's take a look at the inside. We just ran the wires all through here. We bundled them together nice and neatly, and then we just ran them up through the bottom of the center console here. All right, so we successfully installed our light bar. So great job, yay! Thanks. Boom. Okay, so it's nighttime after sunset and it's completely dark out right now. So we're going to test the effectiveness of the light bar. Okay, so Great. let's... Uh, what? Great. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead here and switch it on. I'll uh, just turn these overhead lights off now and then we'll switch on the light bar. Okay, so first we're going to show you what the view looks like just with the regular headlights. Okay, so that's just regular headlights and then we're going to add in the light bar. Look at that, that is super bright. That is really nice. Yeah, that's really gonna um, be a game changer when we're out in the middle of nowhere looking for a boondocking spot or traveling at nighttime with this uh, light bar. And just make sure that the uh, light bar is only for off-road use and we will not be using this when we're driving down public roads, only on um, dirt roads. Good point. All right, so we successfully installed the light bar we're extremely happy. It definitely took some creativity and um, some extra work, but we got it to work and yeah, it works really well. This will be a great 
upgrade for the ambulance and doing a lot of backcountry driving and boondocking. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this video and be sure to like and subscribe for future how-to adventure and cooking videos. And we wish you a great rest of your day and see you in the next video. Bye-bye. And time to wash these hands. Yes. Because they're, yep. they're, they're covered in grease. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>